the Trump administration has wanted the national census the, to count, uh, the, the country conducts every 10 years, to wrap up tomorrow. However, a judge has extended that time until the end of the month. KQ2's Madeline McLean talked to it and two city leaders um, and heard why they say it's important that everyone fill out their census forms completely. My name is Hillary. I'm with the national head count has as much of an impact, if not more, than voting. It happens once every 10 years. The results ripple through your city, school, police, and hospital. The more people that are counted and they truly accurate count uh, gives us that allocation of funding that everybody needs. The 2020 census deadline keeps moving, but the stakes haven't changed. It determines how much federal money we get and our representation in Congress. Some of our most at-risk populations uh, need those services, you know, renters, homeless individuals. Those folks need those services more than, than you or I might need them at this point in time. And it's challenging to get those folks in a good year to be counted. As of Friday, not counting the census takers that are knocking on doors, about 66% of Americans responded by mail, phone, or online. Missouri trails the country and St. Joseph Trails, Missouri. And they all trail 2010. Right now we are at 64.6%. Uh, in 2010, our self-response rate was 70%. According to the Missouri Health Foundation, the 2010 census cost Missouri millions of dollars in federal funding. The less people who live in St. Joseph, the less money the federal government sends. That federal funding goes toward public transportation, um, public and, and safety, um, emergency food and shelter services. Um, you know, when we went through the flooding in the south side with the pandemic that we're going through. So how much money? For every Missourian that isn't counted when the clock runs out, the state will lose about 1300 in federal dollars per person every year. Public education, even infrastructure, all of that we get federal funding based on the numbers of our population and our community. At the state level, that's approximately $16.5 billion every year. That's based on census data. Less at the forefront, but still just as important, people don't realize that our congressional seats uh, are based on our census numbers as well. And that 2010 census also cost Missouri a congressional seat. Once again, we haven't even participated in the count like we did that year. So the more people that are accurately counted, the better representation we get at both the federal and state level. So government officials say if you're sick of potholes pockmarking your streets or a lack of help when a flood hits, or maybe you just wish your teachers or police officers were paid better, then take a few minutes to fill out the census. It's very safe, it's very secure, and it's so very important. Reporting in St. Joseph, Madeline McLean, KQ2 News. Visit 2020census.gov to make sure you are counted.